Um, no, definitely not. From my knowledge and what I know about, I don't think so, no. No, never. The Sharia law is never barbaric. I think Sharia is, is alright. Nope, I think it's great and it's good, mashallah. Um, it's, it's the law for, for mankind, for humanity to live by. And uh, yeah, that's what it is for. The law, the law of the Lord, really, of Allah. It's good, it's the law of Allah, inshallah. It should be done in most countries. And if you don't know about it, you should research about it and look at it and you know that it's good. You'd have to look into it before you judge something. Like, that goes for anything, really. You have to look into something properly before you put any kind of judgment on it. I mean, Sharia law is what basically is missing from this, you know, in this world. Especially when it comes, if you look at the Islamic countries, not a lot of, you know, the, from the Gulf area is, you know, are implementing in Sharia law, like properly, how, you know, how the Ottoman Empire was. Um, if you look into the science and like the reform system and how it works and the psychology of it, it's really effective. Um, you know, I mean, people say, oh, you know, why are they going to cut your hands off? But if you know that's the law, then you wouldn't go and steal. I think the main thing that, that puts them off is um, the stoning for adultery. I think that's the main thing and getting your hands cut off if you steal. But um, unless you're someone who is an adulterer or you steal a lot, I don't, I don't see why that should be such a... Like, why that should be something that should put you off? Then people that believe it's barbaric don't know about it. They haven't read about it. They don't know. So they're making judgments about something they don't know. So if you have, if you set a severe punishment, it will stop other people from doing that same kind of thing. So unless you're like a rapist or someone who steals, I don't see why you should be worried about such punishments because it just doesn't make sense to not, you know, to worry about such things unless that's something that you do. Um. And there are societies that I've read on in other countries where the community deal with the criminals. So if like a, someone were to go cause a murder, the community would just go and, you know, sort the man out, probably kill him himself. But when there's like a... I think it's more effective. I mean, I'd rather have my hand cut off than sort of like three years in prison. Might sound stupid, but that's my opinion. Uh, I think people who believe that there might be a misconception or of the word barbaric, uh, what they need to do is look into it and do their own research rather than what they find out on the media and through third parties. Uh, have a look around and just think what is working, what is not working. We are actually lacking right now. So uh, I hope inshallah, in Allah, you know, that we have the kind of Sharia law in this country, if not in this country, probably back home as well. Sharia law is a divine ruling that was revealed to our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam 1433 years ago. So brother, do you believe that the Sharia law is harsh? Um, not at all, no, no. Sharia law is always right and I believe that Allah, and I, I flow. Mm. No, it, no, it's absolutely right. The correct way. It's the correct way to flow. Okay, how about yourself? Yeah, same, I think it's correct. Mm, there's nothing wrong with the Sharia law. I think Sharia law is the best law in the, like you can say in the universe. Um, Allah is just and he knows what's right. He made us, he knows how we should live. So no, it's not barbaric. People usually, they think of it uh, as a subjective thing. Like, for example, if, if I see someone getting punished for what they done wrong, I'd think, yeah, that's a bad thing. But then if the same thing happened to me, I'd want, the, I'd want that same thing to happen to them. For example, like, if someone stole from me, I'd want something to be done to them. But if I see someone stealing from someone else, and then I see a punishment inflicted on them, I wouldn't think, well, I, I'd think it's unfair because I'm not the person that felt the pain that the other person having to pay for. Humans, their right and wrong changes. 60 years ago, homophobia was considered, you know, a, a mental disease. Nowadays, if, you, if you're against homophobia, you're considered to have a mental disease. So humans, their right and wrong does change. So Allah knows what's best for us and only He can say exactly what's right and wrong. If the God Almighty Himself has given us all this ni'mah, this blessing, then he's the one who should be able to tell us how to govern our life and live our life. So the one who says Sharia, Sharia ruling is barbaric, by Allah they're nothing but jahils. I would say it's correct because if, if, like, if you're at a party and you, you go crazy, it's, it's bad because you, it's, um, it, the consequences will happen and you'll feel sorry for yourself. They need to look into Al-Islam. The divine revolution that was revealed to Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam from Allah the Wajal. A lot of the time, they they will mistake culture for religion. For example, people think that Muslims beat their wives, whereas 
that's, that's more of a thing that's developed over culture whereas the Prophet himself said that Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said that you're not even allowed to lift your hand at your wife they shouldn't listen or judge according to the media or what they hear go and read the Sharia yourself that's the Quran that's the Sunnah um, and you will find that it is true because obviously it's from Allah and Allah does no wrong so I think I suppose, like people that usually look into it they end up converting as well because then they they, 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 they see the real the real reason behind it and what Islam actually teaches rather than what they're just being told and portrayed by the media I just believe that they need to look into Islam and look into other religions and then they'll realize what's right and what's wrong Did Allah mentioned the Quran was Zahr al-Fasad al-Barri bima kasabat wa'idin nas when a man starts to legislate and tell one another this is good for you that ain't good for you this is halal for you that is haram for you you'll notice fasad corruption